Hi everybody, welcome back to Sid's Modern Life, Season 3 episode, I've forgotten because I'm a bit stressed now, uh, 42, there we go. Um, reason for such stress is I recorded an intro, uh, and during which I showed you all of the goodies I got from the mining, digital miner. Uh, I also showed you I'd upgraded, added a third solar panel, upgraded the digital miner with some speed upgrades and energy efficiency upgrades and yeah it didn't record um, so I am somewhat irritable <laughs> now I, ha I did get two obsidian chests full of materials uh, this is the stuff I have not yet processed uh, I also managed to get somewhere in the region of about five and a half thousand coal um, so maybe not 5,000, I can't remember, a large amount of coal, um, we picked up a large amount of other bits and pieces, um, so yeah, large amount of redstone which is we've run through here, I also do need to keep on uh, my eye on this because currently with the amount of power usage I am hammering through, uh, if I let this run through the night I empty my uh, cells. Which is not ideal, so there you go. Um, but at the moment it is piling through osmium, that's all the osmium is processed, obviously it's, it's doing that steadily there. Uh, it is piling through copper and it has just started on tin. Um, I have processed all the iron, I didn't bother even grinding it down because of course while I was over there the iron farm was chunk loaded so lots of iron. Uh, but we've got all of this, this is what I've processed so far. The redstone, uh, these are all fortuned, that's going. This is what remains to be processed, I'm just kind of keeping myself busy for the time being. Um, and as part of that busyness I've taken out this section of plants because I don't think we're ever going to need them. Uh, and over here I now have got a uh, uranium, let me get these marked up actually, boop boop, uh, lock, 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 and quantity, 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 quantity. So I've set uranium going, uranium is something I'm going to need a lot of because I'm, I intend to use the um, thermal power for a lot of small power applications. Uh, yeah, so we've got the lapis, we've got Imper uh, we've got nickel, constantine, and electrum, and the end crop, which for some reason I managed to not click on. Uh, so that's what I've been kind of doing to keep myself busy. At the moment, it's now really waiting. I th I do think I need to come up with a. Well, I need an improved power system if I'm going to run multiple ones of these, I think. Because these um, are obviously taking a fair amount of juice. The, there is a crusher from Mechanism, and I don't know how much energy that would use. It would be interesting to see the difference in energy usage. I may just test that. Um, but what I think we need is a, um, a mass crusher. We've got the mass smelting system here. What I need is a mass crushing system. And this is kind of ties back into our industry because this thing here, which is currently has got a, a very full creosote tank. Uh, I need to make another one of those. Um, I just heard something creak. And yeah, so we definitely need to start playing. I think I'm going to have a little play in a creative world and just see what the differences are between the various crushers in terms of their power usage. Let me check that out and I'll be back in a moment. All right, um, welcome to my, <laughs> my kind of hodgepodge of a creative testing world where I try out ideas whether they be builds, um, drown farms, you name it, I've tried out all sorts of things. Uh, and this is this is my test um, for how much power these use. And I've got to an ultimate crushing factory, I'm just curious on that one. So, 
what we're going to do we know that there's 50,000 in there we're going to stick that in there it's going to drain some energy and it's going to create a thing a basic I've done them as factories doesn't matter we'll try that so basic crushing factory interesting there is no oh enriching factory worked fine ultimate crushing factory does not want me to play with that uh, let's just grab a hopper and see if we can't get them in that way uh, there and there and we'll stick one into that intriguing so use so the crusher actually uh, bizarre the actual crusher is not the way forward the ah, that is weird have we got any way of showing me the recipes on these no apparently not bye bye you are not the solution I am looking for, apparently. So this used 6,000 flux energy. This used 4,000 flux energy. So the enricher is actually cheaper than the crusher, and we can make an enriching factory, which could do multiple at a time. Um, just out of question this is a, a fully charged cube I'm going to throw a <laughs> okay you do not want to take my why do you not want to take my uh... you've got universal cable you've got juice Pulling them in. All right. That was working earlier. I don't know why it's not working now. Anyway, that is kind of a big industrial affair. This is more interesting. A basic enriching factory. So armed with that, let's just have a look. What's the recipe for you? We use an enrichment chamber and stuff to get a basic. So I can stick three in at a time. Stupid question. Oh, and I'm going to recharge this. Let me just get a creative cube. Recharged. What happens? Oh, damn it, I forgot. I took my iron ore away. Do you get a higher efficiency? No, it would use the entire thing. So there's no, no efficiency gain. But of course, we can put energy efficiency upgrades in there. And they are actually quite cheap, if I remember rightly. Let me just, uh, just got to find the damn thing. Let me just go for upgrade. And there, energy upgrades. It's just gold grip glass and that. And we can stick up to eight of those in. Just as a stupid question then, again, if I then go with going myself the creative cube. don't know why that is giving me that uh, kind of weirdness, but uh, what's going on here? Come here. Right, it's full. I'm going to do some upgrades and I am going to... I'll get there eventually. It's middle mouse doesn't always seem to work for me and I don't know why. There you go. There's eight 
upgrades, you can have all of them as eight. Let's let's assume the speed isn't an issue because it isn't, but it is. That kind of makes sense. So this should give me. We're getting a ten ten percent increase in in time now. Obviously, we've still got twelve thousand. If I go one, two, three, and go. Let's see how much that would actually save us. Wow, that is significant, isn't it? Right, I think we're going to move away from a crusher. We'll keep the crusher, but I think we're going to be putting an enriching factory in with full energy upgrades. Okay, back to a uh, non-creative world. See you in a moment. All right, I've taken the enrichment chamber out. Now there is actually a, an issue with this. This thing here, silent mechanism 10 will go through an enrichment chamber because 10 is a mechanism or um, copper will go through an enrichment chamber because copper is a uh, silent mechanism or gold obviously will go through tin, tin, silver. Silver will not go through an enrichment chamber because it is not in it. You see where I'm going here. Lead will not go through. Uh, nickel will not go through. Platinum will not go through. But it will still take a significant chunk. All of the osmium that we've got, um, most of these will have to go through on different settings though. So it will still improve it. Now the question is, how much do I want to take this? and take it so we can take uh, an enrichment chamber and put advanced can we just oh that takes you to no we want an enrichment factory so we can definitely make that and we can use you to make an advanced enrichment factory but we haven't got any of those which we need to make so if i go and do one two and then, oops, no. I don't know why my caps lock always ends on as well. Let me bring you down here and go uses and bang. So that, we're out of. <laughs> okay, iron and redstone. Oh, I've got so little iron. <laughs> uh, and some redstone. I'm going to need to run those through and make a whole load of these. Um, actually, I'll, oh, bonus. That was 43, so... That means you need another 21. There we go. Run those through. Must have left those running last time. Always a bonus when you find stuff that you didn't know you had. Right, there you go, and that will give an advanced enrichment factory, and the uses for that, we're going to need those and those. I, I think we'll just stick with the advanced for now, just because we can. Oh, I need a couple of items. Uh, basic item basic logistical transport tubes that will do the trick now we could do with bigger storage on here and and to be fair that really doesn't look like it belongs in a high-tech facility but it's what i got so it's what we're going with and we're going to put that there that there we are going to uh huh, I'll go around the back and I think we still need to do something a little bit more ambitious than this, but if we can get you, right, you need some um, some basic cable. And we also are going to need our tools, which we're going to grab that out of. And we'll configure those. And that should give me something to be going at. I love that, it's just, oh, no, 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 you don't. I 
Interesting. Hmm. Ah. Uh. So that's giving it. Why is that not connecting then? Oh, I think I know why. Let me just get the colours sorted. Red, magenta, yellow, two, black, no, none. There we go. Is it something to do with... I'd like input from there. Let me get rid of that. And that. And that. And output there. That is more like it we need to empty this of all of that as well <sighs> so anything right so oh, that, that remains oh damn you it's that which needs to become pull and then that needs to become pulled. And then all we need is some juice for this, which I shall... Hmm. I mean, it's it's got these annoying connections, which we don't really need but that's fine that's now got full power oh god now i've got to try and get out of here hmm thank god for crouch that's all we can say right and armed with that the only thing we need is to make a pile of uh, energy efficiency upgrades and we are laughing. Uh, can we find the... No, God, let me just... Blah, 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 that one. I need to make those and I need eight gold grit. Let's just use a bit of the fresh stuff then, shall we? Uh, one, two, three, four. So that's going to be able to run five different things at a time. And obviously it's going to, at the moment, drain far too much power. But that's fine. I really don't mind. That should all go through. And it should end up in there. Lovely. Let's get the um, efficiency upgrades done. Bang. Don't know why it chose blue, but you know, we'll uh, we'll take it. And then we'll add our upgrades. Uh, I'll clear my inventory a wee bit and we can actually get on with this and use our stuff proper. Back in a sec. Alright, so we've got our juice. Uh, it is night time so I need to just double check. You can see that we are definitely suffering a loss. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's still pulling power. Okay. Um, so let's jump back into there and we're going to grab all of the osmium ore for starters because osmium is one that goes in here so we'll chuck that in this will start and what we can do is auto sort on and it will basically run them all simultaneously which is great. Uh, the power usage is two at flux energy per tick. Uh, and we should be 
gaining energy in daytime. Excellent. So, armed with that, we're going to take all of the tin ore and we're going to add that to the system. And then we'll have all of that tin ore, if I can. Any more? Yeah, there you go. And we can add that to the system as well. That's just hammering through now. Um, all of the copper ore can be processed in there. Let's just pull all of this down, I think. So all of that will go through the system, as will lapis, as will coal. Um, so we'll, again, we'll bring that down. I could just fortune mine that, but it's not really worth it. I don't need it that desperately. Gold definitely will go through. Silver won't, lead won't, nickel won't, zinc won't, bismuth won't, bauxite won't, uranium won't, ruby ore obviously will not. None of this will actually go through. So all of this will go through that, and what we can do is we can take all of the... I'm going to start off with small quantity stuff that won't process, um, and run that through the crusher, and... You know, we should be sitting reasonably pretty at this stage. So, yeah, that's the plan, and it's what we're going to do. So, we'll get all of that put through, and I'll let that process, and hopefully it'll be a little bit faster. See you in a moment. All right. That took a hell of a lot longer than I anticipated, and in fact, I will be honest, uh, for the lead and uh, the chaos crystals and something else i actually smelted it without processing it i got fed up of waiting for this thing this is dog slow uh i the upgrades for this are possible they're just a bit of a pain because i have to make a whole load of infrastructure for them and i'm definitely thinking that a immersive crusher is probably the way forwards however this is what we got um in process form now obviously i've turned it all into blocks so that's all nice. We'll take it over here because I need to start putting it away. And uh, yeah, it's all all pretty. You know, we you know got some much needed redstone because redstone was getting a little bit low. Uh, we got a whole load of tessalite. Now, whilst whilst it's also uh, been doing that, um, I oops, I forgot to put that in. I have put another disc in because um, I was at 78% full, so I made another a disc on top of that. We've got 51 diamonds, we've got uh, quite a few bits and pieces of mineral wealth uh, out of that. Lapis, coal, uh, in addition to all of the stuff that I already mentioned. So all of that goes away nicely. Iron will all will go away nicely because uh, things now. One of the things that makes a difference between a polished mod pack and, and what I throw together <laughs> is um, is the people rational rational rationalizing. I think that should be silver there, and that is a blue power silver. So I should be able to take the silver silver. There, have we got any other? I've got no other silver, I don't think. Aluminium, iron, that needs to go away. Do, do, do. Zinky zinc, aluminium. Yeah, there's no more silver. Um, silver is good because we can pop all of that away, but this silver won't merge. Uh, now, it just to mention, there is. A upgrade for these called a um, let me just do that how to get around it do, 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 do this one the conversion upgrade and it doesn't work for these they don't or dictionary nicely so yeah it's just a uh, and I could go through this and obviously do things a lot nicer but you know there we go now 10 should be good because tin blocks go in like that 
Uh, and then I think I should have some tin. And we've got a bit of tin. And this is where the fun, fun and games comes, of course, is my tin is this one, the two. So that, if I process those together again, that will neatly become a correct tin. Um, osmium is not a problem. We'll take all of the osmium. The gold, of course, will not be a problem because that's a vanilla item. I'm fairly certain the lead isn't a problem, so we'll, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's have a look. Lead and lead, and I'm fairly certain if I look at that, that is all processed correctly. Now you are zinc and that is zinc and zinc zinc and zinc and this is obviously where we're going to have some fun games as well so we've got that zinc uh, okay that's fine and I've got four of those and those will make me another one of those and they will all nicely go away lovely um, no, 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 no. bismuth hasn't got its own draw I'm fairly certain bismuth is actually just that so in you go nickel hasn't uranium hasn't bismuth ingots don't so that all goes away and then we've got aluminium right now where is if I were aluminium, where would I be? If anywhere, that's silver, that is tin, that's copper, iron, gold, osmium. I'm going to suggest that I actually don't have a draw for aluminium, so but that's fine. I'll live without a draw for aluminium. Uh, and copper is the fun one, of course, because copper is not that copper is this which is blue power copper blocks and silent gear silent mechanism oh, that's interesting so if I were to go and grab all of those and then do that It won't give me okay that's fine we'll just break them down into that then um and then that lot will just go away yeah okay that's that's the way to get those to do and those hmm. yeah the fun of uh multiple ores of course with 1.17 this will actually cease to be an issue because We'll actually have copper in the game. There is a question mark over whether... Right, I need to pick up that. There is a question mark about whether um, people like... Uh, whether immersive engineering copper will be replaced by vanilla copper. Because vanilla copper is four ingots to a block. And this copper is nine ingots to a block. So there are issues there. Uh, now the reason it's four issues to a block in vanilla copper is of course vanilla copper has the um, patina effect, the oxidation um, and as it's primarily going to be a decorative block then needless to say you know what's he don't want it to cost the earth there and it's four if it was nine it would be considered too expensive unless copper was very common anyway Let's go, let's have a look at the elephant in the room, which is this particular box here, which has got a whole load of grey concrete powder, some iron sheet metal, steel ingots, and yeah, and then there's copper. Now I need to, what I would really like is to have this, but we need, presumably, because this is a, I need to get an immersive engineering copper. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be annoying. So what we'll do is we're going to take this for now. And we're just going to get some infrastructure built. Uh, oh, inc incidentally, while we're on the topic, 
The other things I did to keep myself busy is I got myself three more villagers. These are mastered up. The, this guy has Depth Strider. If you don't want Depth Strider for one uh, emerald and a book, uh, you can have Depth Strider three for 13 emeralds and a book. Yeah, I've never seen that happen before. Or Unbreaking, which, you know, okay. This guy was a fairly experience boost three and multi shot and power five. And this guy is multi jump nine. I want to try that one out. Uh, Magic Siphon four and Magnet one. So, yeah, they're just things I kind of kept myself busy with because I knew that this was. Um, going to be an issue. Right, let's sleep the night off and we're going to head over and just do a little bit of building to start on this uh, industrial area, but we'll probably get more of that done now. I've gone through the uh, the process. Uh, I haven't seen anybody's comments on this bridge yet, so I, I don't know whether that's staying or not because I'm recording ahead of myself a little bit uh, while I'm off because all too soon, we're going to be. I'm going to be back at work, and uh, that luxury we had. I think we're going to start off with a smallish one on this level here. We like a landing like a feather, because I think this has got quite a lot of potential. It's, you know, it's not too overgrown. I am going to need to do some block palleting to decide how I'm going to make the area look more industrial. You know, just sticking a shed on a hill is not necessarily, you know, uh, the secret of an industrial look. One of the options um, would be to take a leaf out of the uh, the Ancient Warfare pack I just did. I can't remember what the hell I called the series now. <laughs> my brain's going um, and to pollute the area which is an option you know it's uh, always an option to give it a little bit of polluting but again I will need to go and hunt down certain blocks um, but there are certain if we look at the journey map there are options available to us we've got uh, the the bog all the way around here there's, I'm not entirely sure whether there's anything peculiar about this area, whether we can get anything out of that. But I'm sure between all the mods I have, there are going to be biomes where we can go and borrow a few odds and ends, shall we say, to, uh, to make this look just a little more there. <laughs> Uh, that's the technical term. We'll go for there. Um, another, another bog up there, or some description. Oh, that was the yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm familiar with half of this stuff. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at what we can do with this. I think first things first, we need to establish a level and a back. So I'm going to come through here. This is going to be the ground level. I'm going to flatten back along here a wee bit. Not normally a big one for flattening, but one aspect of um, modern and industrial style building, even, you know, building which is, for want of a better word, prefab is they they tend not to worry about that they tend to work on i want a flat surface so we are going to have a flat surface and we'll tidy the and, and landscape up around it later and as i say we're going to have different levels and means of means of moving around and all, all of the good stuff so first things first let me clear this i'll be back in a second all right having cleared a spot um, let's get our we'll just pop this over here for now um, and we shall pop all of this garbage that we've collected well it's not garbage one man's garbage is another man's treasure is the old saying uh, one man's trash is another man's saying probably is a more appropriate version but we're going to use this stuff as a floor 
Um, now grey concrete powder combined uh, gives us from embellished craft dark concrete paving. And what I want to do is I'm going to have my my back. Let's have a look. Uh, what a gap! This is going to be where the wall is. So if I start coming across here, this is going to be the interior marker. And we know from there we got what's we're going to need at least five. One, two, three, four, five. That would take us to here. So, but if I wanted to come out six, seven, say to about there, I think that's probably the extent of this building floor. And so we're going to come like that. We're going to have a gap of two, then three for a thing, then a gap of two, then th I'm going to have three presses, I think. So, and then a gap of two. Then three. Am I going to struggle with that? I am. If that's my edge, but I've got a little bit of wiggle room. And then a gap of two. So that's, we can always build up a little bit. And there. What I haven't brought is anything for a roof. That's the one thing I still need to figure out. And we are going to use, um, almost certainly going to come beneath this to put in some very simple power generation just to maintain the presses. Because they don't need a lot. And uh, I can't see the point in putting in anything excessive when we don't need it. So if we kind of fill this area in like this. You'll, you'll begin to see why. Yeah. Can I get away with another block? I'm just conscious the last time I built one of a building like this with the presses in it, it got a little bit constrained. Uh, so consequently, I don't want to limit my space any more than necessary. Oops, hello. So, nice dark floor. Industrial, dirty, old floor. And of course, any important for any kind of building is it's actually sustainable to build. You know, it doesn't, we, with the infrastructure we've got, we can, we can make this all day, reasonably all day, most, mostly all day. Okay, so we're going to take those, get rid of that lot, and we're going to need some steel. We're going to need a crafting bench. And we are going to make these. I'm going to make half a, a good few of those. Because three of those, no, six of those, isn't it? becomes those the nice big heavy girders and of course if I just start off with four of those we can come over to these corners and we can place you no know, we can start off with this kind of structuring going on in the corners all nice and solid uh, now this was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's an 8 odd number, so it comes 7. For, uh, let's do one more. Actually, do two more. Come on, let's, let's not scrimp. We've got plenty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1. And then for the walls, we're going to take this stuff and we need my tools uh, I'm going to grab my saw I need a new one of those before long and let me just take maybe nine to start off with we'll chop those down until they are that size oh it's probably over to sleep 
Yeah, in a moment. And that can go there. And there. And then we can, no. And then we're going to need to, I think we're going to need to put some scaffolding blocks in. But luckily I've got a whole load of dirt from digging the area up. So that will work nicely. Let me uh, grab that. So if we come all the way down here. Do something a little bit actually on the inside of these so it's not to so totally open so like this and we'll we'll top up that floor before we finish I don't expect to get this built today by the way I think I'm just just to start and a kind of a, a almost a flavor for the uh, the theme of the area That's got to be underground because we've just walked past that and we've not been attacked by anything. So, carrying that on, we're going to go maybe four high, I think. Uh, the temptation is to go three high. Um, personally, I think if you can afford it, put an extra layer on, maybe even two layers if you can really afford it. And... Uh, you'll not regret it in the long run and then we need one two three four five six of those and that will go on the top nicely like us so Doop. so that gives us kind of a starting point and of course scaffolding blocks to assist in the placement of the uh, of the hoofer of the uh, the iron castle so the idea is that what I'm looking for is a corrugated iron building you know just a standard metal prefab that you often see around industrial estates and, and trading parks I would imagine pretty much anywhere in the world. I, I think the, that kind, of, this kind of architecture, is is truly a a multinational phenomenon. Now there will be a question about what we do with the roof. But let's just get the basics in for starters. That works, and then I am going to need to cut some more panels, but that's fine because. Once you've got that, all of that comes neatly out, and yeah, let me do a little bit more, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, that's um, that's the basics in. We're going to go with a simple flat roof, I think. Um, again, not entirely sure. <sighs> See, we can do green sheet metal, which we make, of course, by taking any sheet metal and dyeing it green. And we've got this stuff. Now, that stuff can also be converted into slabs. Uh, and I believe, no, just slabs. And the brown sheet metal can be converted into just slabs again that's one option the other option would be to use something like some green concrete or um, maybe not quilted wool that might be a little pushing believability green shingles doesn't really work green corrugated metal plate that might work which appears to just use plate, steel plate though. Uh, I suppose it's steel, it's only steel. 
as part of this is to actually get ourselves um, independent of this kind of decision, <laughs> if you like. Um, all right, sleeping bag, thank you. So that's all kind of things to go. However, I have brought over some lighting for this, which we'll put down. And uh, we also need to put some glass in. Now, I haven't got... Well, let's start off with lighting. This stuff is brilliant. This is, uh, <coughs> this is from the uh, Engineer's Decor mod, and it really does just... Dis simply and discreetly illuminates the space you know it's only it's wafer thin uh, to quote to quote mr creosote and uh yeah so we, we definitely need to think about let me just turn that off for a second we need to think about some uh, some glass options um, we have to have again. Uh, this is an, an issue we have. We don't have many glass options. We do have some quark framed glass, which we could use, and we could ch potentially chop that down. That might be oh, dirty glass, dirty or framed, dirty or framed, dirty or framed, dirty or framed. Well, you know what? There's a simple way of finding out, isn't there? Let's give it a try. Um, but we do need to just before we go any further and again we'll we'll work on this area uh we'll work on this area somewhat to oops, give it a little bit more solid you know feel just so it doesn't feel like it's just things so we need to landscape and we're not going to get that done this episode. Uh, I took far much longer uh, than I wanted to processing up the... Um, take you and you. Processing up the, the the contents from the last haul on the um, digital miner. And whilst I do want to do another digital miner haul, well, yeah, I want to go maybe we'll head out somewhere where we've not explored and uh, oops hello yeah just somewhere up here out of the way somewhere we've not particularly been maybe over this way and uh plop down a digital miner just see if we get better results in terms of certain minerals yeah, i'm not in any desperate rush to do it because i really don't feel i have the infrastructure necessary and i don't know why i only picked one rocket there Maybe maybe the one rocket challenge. Can I get back to base in one rocket? Who knows? Ooh. I'm not surprised. I'm amazed I survived that. <laughs> um, but we do have a couple of options when it comes to glass. We can uh, we can go with the frame glass, and we won't need a lot. So, where are you? That one. Make me a pack of those and dirty. And let's have a look what we got in. Because we've got no broken glass bits, of course. Because I have. Do I want? Or do we go with something like soul glass? Let's have a look. First question, can I chop it up? I can. So that kind of works for that. Now I've only got eight and I need slightly more. So let me just do another. Well, one more. So we've got a choice between the soul glass, which is a kind of a nice brown, dirty colour. We've got this, which is obviously not a nice brown, dirty colour. Uh, if I just go and grab a 
No. How do I get? Well, presumably, I just need to hit it with something that's not silk touch. Uh, maybe mine it with something that's not silk touch. Then let's try that. You're not silk touch. Hmm. Interesting. Let me just have a look. What have we got in here? I've got a diamond pick. You can't get much more vanilla than that, can you? And still nothing. All right. Glass is proving to be awkward. Uh, we've got you, we've got no, weather proof is really not what we're looking for. Structural, probably not. I think those are too mysticalized. Panzer glass, uh, possibly. Need iron rods for that. <laughs> Which, of course, the irony is what we're actually trying to get right now so panzer glass can i chop you up let me just try and do two of them i can so there's there's three glass options in terms of roofing material oops let me just have a think there is a um, The problem with willow, with with wood, is it's obviously wood. I mean, that's kind of an obvious statement, isn't it? But but then the only real difference between that and that is the Christmas of the lines. It's how you tell that one's wood and one's metal. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't green sheet metal. I really think we probably just go with those, which is obviously nice and easy to handle because. And I realise I am getting a little bit carried away here with this entire thing. But if I do. Wow, well, what's happening? Don't be crashing, please. I think I might be crashing. I'll be back in a second. All right, we are back. Uh, um, crashes like that is this, I don't know, it's, I think it's just the, the nature of the beast, unfortunately, we're on 116. Um, and these mixed mixed investment in the one six sorry the one we're in 115 and we have mixed investment between 115 and 116 mod development and of course 112 um mustn't forget that there's still people out there who are not moving on from 112 in fact i've uh i have tried to update this pack and i didn't even get beyond i i all right, let me let me just step backwards a little. Um, so when I tend to update packs, I tend to go through the mods alphabetically, and I'll start with all the A's, work my way through those, and you know so on and so forth. And this is no different. Uh, get me that. That should hopefully be enough. Um, So when I came to update this one, I do I, I I take exactly the same process. I oops, I'll do that. I start off with um, right. I think definitely I'm going to overhang this all the way around, aren't I? I start off with the A's and then work through to oops, work through to the B's, did that, and so on and so forth, and. And I say, I didn't even get, oh, damn you. I didn't even get as far as the Bs. Uh, I, I went through the A's, they all updated okay. There's there's 1.16 versions of the A's. Um, I can't remember which one it was that wasn't, it hasn't done a 1.16 version yet. 
but um, needless to say, didn't bode well. And of course, what I don't know is if even if I can get all of the mods updated to 116, whether this world will actually update. It's entirely possible, uh, like we'd had with um, the original SIDS mod of Life Factory, when we did the Dwarven Stronghold, that when I went to do the next version, the world just corrupts. Um, and there is absolutely... Ouch. I really should get further falling on these, you know. Uh, there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. So I'm not in any rush to update, but if I can update to 116 and keep the world preserved, then, you know, that to me would be a bonus. I am definitely going to need more of this. But I do like the, uh, I do like the colour. I've got another 62. I might not need it more, but I'm going to I'm going to work on this edge and just try and do this in such a way that I can always go back and just finish it off later. But it, it's definitely got a, a certain character to it. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. I'm going to need more. <laughs> oh well, doesn't matter. Um, once we've got this, metal plates will not be a problem. I mean, at the moment they're not a problem. I just make hammers and then destroy the hammer. Um, but, that doesn't mean I actually like destroying hammers. Again, I don't like waste. Hmm. I'm probably going to need to put scaffolding blocks behind these windows as well. Just to tidy these up a wee bit. And I think I may try and put some skylights in so it's not a hole. In the same way that we have windows, maybe have um, a skylight here. You know, kind of like that, either side of there. Oops. To the... Um, to the other side here and just have two glass skylights it might add a certain something uh, we need some scaffold that's what we need which we're going to just pile along I'm going to try all three windows and we'll see what we think about which and I can always come back and change them if the comments kind of you know indicate one way or another we'll start off with the panzer glass on this side nice simple we can go with the soul glass here <coughs> which actually has a nice coloration to it this framed glass might will actually cut down as more um, okay that was interesting I uh, did not wish to do that let me go and bang that through like that So let's go, and I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the soul glass because I, out of the three, I think that is the one that I am, I am favouring personally. Because it has that colour to it. That just doesn't look right. And again, I like that. I like that as well though, it has a kind of that grubby, streaky feel to it. Right, so I'm I'm definitely in two minds. Soul glass or panzer glass, I think, are my my kind of vote. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm gonna just step back a wee bit if I can. If I can kind of well, it's not gonna Yeah, I'll I'll get a screenshot after the fact. Um, I'll get the roof on first. But that's the, that'll be the first of the sheds. I'm going to do something up there. Uh, my, I, I am thinking, and I know I always make these, but bear with me. Bear with me. 
I am considering having a power plant that works, well, having several power plant options. Sorry, I heard a kitty. Here, kitty. Kitty, kitty. 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 I don't know why I'm making these noises. I know he can't actually hear me. It's got to be. There is a kitty up here. Where though? That's closer. I don't know where this cat is. I don't know, it doesn't actually help me because I've got no fish or fishies or anything. But there is a, definitely a cat up here somewhere. All right, anyway, distracted. Um, this is a really nice high cliff on... I don't know. That sounds really, really close. I'm getting distracted again. Um, so running a water wheel or a series of water wheels off of here and then down and then off again. Now it's maybe, yeah, it's, again, the Dwarf Fortress had the similar kind of thing. Run the water wheels off the edge, drop down into some more water wheels down, generate power. Free power, everybody wins. Um, we also eventually find out where this cat is. I know it's about to see. Oh, you know what? You know I'm going to go and hunt for it, don't you? Ooh. Anyway, we need to do this. So that's kind of a thought. As I say, it is an effective power generation technique. And, you know, I'm not going to sniff at an effective power gen te uh, technique. I've got no idea where that cat is. It's probably underground or something. It probably managed to spawn underground or some such thing like that. Because I really can't see a cat. And I know it's there. And I know it's not my cat because it's in the game. It's coming through my Ah, there. Hello, kitty. I don't think I can. No, <laughs> you're stuck, aren't you? Right. Um, anyway, yeah, that's a thought. I'm going to get this. I'll get this roof done so I can get a screenshot for the thummy. But um, realistically, I think that will do us for this episode. Um, we've got some plans. I definitely need some kind of mega grind and mega smell to set up probably using a mixture of the furnaces we already are using over here um, and probably an immersive engineering grinder might be the most efficient technique to us but let me know what you think about those windows and until next time thanks for watching and bye for now